Uh, hi everybody, uh, this is the second video on installing um, the brake disc inserts on this Dapol Class 68, um, which, are, which are those. Um, the original um, Intrepid and the other Class 68 I've got, which is the Defiant, um, did not have um, the inserts, um, the brake discs. The new ones do, uh, as you can see. Hopefully, it's, it's in focus. And up the plane uh, around the wheels, uh, whereas the new ones have the disc brakes on. Um, the first part in this process is to obviously get the bogey off, um, which just clips on uh, there and there. Underneath these, um, let's get in focus. Underneath these, um, no idea what you call them, just clips. And you just literally clip on and you take the wheels off carefully, which is the best way to do these, and uh, literally glue them on. Uh, hopefully, it's in focus there, so it should look like that. So what I'll do now is I'll stop the video, take these off the spurs, keep taking them out of shot, take the discs off the spurs, clean them up with this small file, um, so that the, where the spurs are, that's what they're called, so um, there's no horrible bumps uh, in the circle. Um, does a lot of this sound like gibberish again? Um, so what I'll do now, I'll stop the video, stick these on and I'll show you this with the discs on as opposed to without the discs on and see what you think. So I'll be back in a second. Um, hi again. I've, um, I've glued four of those onto the one set of bogeys. So hopefully that's what they've. Uh, that's what it looked like now. That's the original. Hopefully, it's in shot. It's not out of focus. I hope. So that's the before. Plain um, discs. And that's the after, with the um, the set of um, <clears throat> brake disc inserts, um, specifically specifically designed. Um, for this uh, locomotive and I'm sure you probably agree it's, that looks much better um, as do the, the newer Class 8 with the um, the discs already applied um, the discs cost um, £7.50 and you get enough to do one Class uh, 68 um, the, the, the way I did it is I obviously took the wheels out of the bogey uh, and then I cleaned each set of wheels with this I hope it's not upside down because my uh, viewfinder is showing, <laughs> showing everything upside down um, so I cleaned the, each set of wheels with that I then used um, this Hornby poly cement which uh, I've used for several weeks now and it's absolutely brilliant um, the applicator is perfect it's getting shot it's perfect if, uh, for small jobs such as this um, so what I did is I dabbed spots of glue around the, each disc and then I spread it out just using a cocktail stick so I spread the glue out and then I uh, carefully, because um, I can be clumsy, uh, applied these and uh, stuck really, really well. So what I'll do now, I'll do the other four and then I'll show you the, uh, the end uh, product. Thanks a lot. Um, hi again. Um, now I've finished the install of the, uh, the brake discs uh, inserts for the Class 68. So that's the finished product um, which I hope we'll get up close 
hopefully that's in focus. Um, I am buying a new camera. Um, I'm just trying to decide which one at the moment. See if I can do better videos than this. So that's the uh, the brake inserts. Um, as mentioned, they uh, they cost seven pound fifty, and you get enough to do all eight wheels. So what I did, just to summarise, let's put it down there. Hopefully you can see, still see the wheels. Um, I uh, cut off the discs and the spurs using my knife. I then used the small file to make sure they were perfectly round. There's no little bubbles on it that came off the spur. And I then took the bogies off, which they had just clipped. Um, front and back and I use one of these um, you can use a screwdriver but I don't uh, wherever I can I use these plastic um, spatulas if that's what they're called um, and I just unclipped it Hope, let's try and get it in shot as you can see a clip down there um, there's one front and back and I just put this underneath and it popped off so the bogey just uh, literally pulls off. Um, I then took each wheel set out and I cleaned it with this. And again, apologies if it's upside down. To make sure there's no grime, um, grease, or anything on the wheels. I then used the Hornby um, poly cement which again I've found really really helpful and very strong and it dries in a very short uh, time period and I do like the, the very thin applicator um, for jobs such as this on this on the wheels on this is very very good um, let you put very small amounts so I put several blobs around each wheel um, several blobs around each wheel and I use the cocktail stick and I spread the glue out um, if I put just put blobs in and then I uh, applied the discs it may have spread the glue so it came over the edge of the discs um, when I applied them I get it all over my fingers and then I'll get it all over the body on you know, my lock so I use the cocktail stick to spread the glue out and use one of these things to help me pick them up pick the discs up sit them in position and uh, just hold them down for a few seconds and as mentioned they stick really really well um, when you're putting the the wheels back in into the bogies um, the only thing you have to be careful of uh, apart from the detailing um, you don't break any bits off like I go like I always do um, what you have to be careful of is making sure you get the pickups they're on each wheel, back in position, um, so you just have to hold the, the, the sprung pickups in and put the wheels back into the cogs, and uh, and that's it. So again, seven pound fifty for a set of eight discs, um, and a very very easy to apply to get the wheels off. Um, I mean, you couldn't do them with, with the wheels in position. Um, maybe you could, but it'd be extremely difficult to apply the glue and, and so on. So it did best to just unclip them here and here. Uh, I found it just lifted the front one off and the back one came off automatically. Um, and, and that's it. So, I mean, I'm very pleased with this now. I'll, I'll do my other two uh, 08s now. I won't show you them because uh, it'll be as boring as this um, video. Um, if you need uh, anything specific answering, please let me know. And I'll just show you the part number again in case you want to, to get any. And it's that. Um, and as mentioned in the previous video, at the, at the moment, they're hard to get hold of. I was lucky um, that our company had three left. For my three um, plus weights, 
So, yeah, thanks very much for your time, and I hope you found this video um, helpful. I, I will be starting my mini layout soon. Um, typical of um, my wife, the room I was going to set it up in, which is the middle bedroom, she's now decided to decorate it. Um, I almost strangled her. Um, so I'm going to start building it in the conservatory, um, and I'll show you each stage of how I uh, do the join <laughs> joinery. My joinery is not the best in the world. Um, so yeah, thanks so much for your time, and hopefully the next video will be uh, my mini layout. Thanks very much. Bye for now.